Next exercise is the single leg torso elevated glute bridge. Now with this one, you're gonna need a bench or something that is elevated that you can rest your back on. And if you've got like a harder surface, sometimes what I recommend is grabbing a blanket or a yoga mat, something that's gonna cushion your lower back so it's not, it's not hurting you. All right, so what we'll do is we're gonna start out sitting on the bench. Okay, from here, I use my hands to allow myself to lower to just around my tailbone. I'm gonna drop to my elbows and then inch my way down until I'm at the middle of my upper back. So once I kind of get that position, Okay, then I'm going to pick one leg up, and I won't, what I'm thinking about doing is tucking my chin. Okay, now if this still bothers your neck holding this position for too long, you're more than welcome to support it here with your hands. Now the key here is that we aren't just moving in our hips like this, that's gonna hurt your lower back. We wanna keep everything nice and tight, and we wanna pivot on our upper back. So I'm going down and up. Now notice how I'm swiveling on my upper back, or like levering. Now if you wanna get a little bit extra hamstring engagement, what I'll have you do, okay, point that toe up, and go right down, and back up. Notice I am pretty close to a 90 degree angle on this leg. If we wanna add resistance to this, there's two ways to do it. One is you can hold the weight here on your hips. The second is to uh, have a few dumbbells here and a uh, monster band wrapped around it is gonna, that comes over your hips. So when you drop down and lift against the band, it gives you resistance. If we want to make this harder, or sorry, easier, we can go to two legs instead. So same idea, we're just dropping, I'm pivoting, and then squeezing at the top. Just make sure that you don't hyperextend through your lower back, that everything is staying tight. So that is how you do the torso elevated single leg glute bridge.